Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Reporting on the demonstrations in Yemen, our correspondent Abdel Rahman Al Shimri joins us over the phone from Sana'a. Abdel Rahman, would you tell us about the situation there and describe the mood of the demonstrators? I would like to point out that marches in Tahrir Square were held by the ruling General People's Congress Party and not the opposition. Once the ruling party became aware of the opposition's plan to hold a demonstration in Tahrir Square, they set up tents in order to take over the place. Today, a demonstration was held in favour of the president and the initiative he presented yesterday. Also, a large festival was held. An even larger festival held near the universities in Sana'a took up a large amount of space, filling the entire main street and some side streets. Of course, the demonstrations began to call on our brothers in Egypt, hoping God will grant the demonstrators in Egypt victory. They also spoke against the tyranny of Arab leaders. They chanted slogans and held posters featuring the Cuban revolutionary leaders President Abdel Nasser and former President El Hamdi. Both demonstrations featured folk dances and called for new policies. My question was about the opposition's demonstration, which, as you mentioned, took place at Sana'a University. What are the demonstrators' demands, especially after the president announced that he will not run in the next presidential election, which will in turn change the entire system? Of course, opposition party demands vary. They are calling for the participation of all political parties in the national dialogue to help solve Yemen's crises, such as the presence of al-Qaeda, the movements of the South and many other demands. They have many demands, but two days ago a meeting was held between the President and the Yemeni Congregation for Reform, the main opposition party. News after the meeting pointed to the possibility of an agreement being reached, and it seems secret meetings are being held in order to resume the talks that were halted a while back. In addition, I would like to point out that the American president contacted the Yemeni president yesterday and praised him for his speech, in which he vowed not to install his son as president or seek re-election. No. Abdel Rahman al shimri our correspondent from Sana'a. Thank you. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.